In this video, we will explore the Connex app that is loaded on most TI-84s that are black and white and virtually all of the TI-84s that are in color. So you hit the Apps button and you scroll down and choose Connex. All four Connex sections, Circle, Ellipse, Hyperbola, and Parabola are on here. Now this is good for two functions. One is what if you forget the formula of a certain Connex section? It's there. So there's the two formulas for ellipse, here's the formula, the two versions of the formula for a circle, and so on. Now, for an example, that's one action, is you can find the formulas. What if you need to graph it? Graphability is built in to this as well. Now there's a problem in the ACT calculator guide that we're gonna mimic, and we have an ellipse, in this case, that says x squared over 25 plus y squared over four, equals one. And they might give you a problem where they ask you which of the following illustrates this ellipse graphically. So A is always the bigger number. So in this case, because x squared over 25, y squared over four, we would choose the first one because A is always bigger. Now, if you type in what's our A squared value, it's 25. And then in this case, we can't put 25 because that would square the 25. We have to put five. 5 squared, 25. Because we have a 4 as our b squared value, that really means b is 2. And because there is no coefficient, it just says x squared and y squared, that means it's centered at 0, 0, the origin. After we type all four of those in, we hit graph, and it custom zooms and draws it precisely to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, 1, 2, Yes, and if you need to look at precise values, you hit the trace button and you can trace around it. See how it says five zero, and you can keep going and it gives you, you know, zero comma two and you can check your work that way. Unless you're someone who has finished the other questions with some time to spare, even if you have this, it's important to leave these type ones to last because it does take a while to enter everything in graph and trace. And to get out of it, you can hit second quit to get back to the main screen and then hit quit. So it's a three-step process to get out.